After the collaboration with Wonder Boy, everyone was like, we want to see sparring footage between you two. I don't know why. I don't know why anyone wants to see that. You're not going to learn anything from that. Nothing interesting is going to happen in it. I take that back because one thing that you might learn or that might be interesting is that Stephen Wonderboy Thompson is not the nice guy that he's made out to be. There's the way the media portrays him, the whole NMF belt thing. That's not an accurate picture of who he is at all. I have trained and sparred with professional fighters at the highest levels plenty of times. I've sparred with pro boxers, I've trained with high level MMA practitioners, I've sparred Bellator fighters, I've sparred UFC fighters. They're never amazing. I mean, they're good. They're better than me, obviously, better than you, probably. They can beat us up. Typically, professional fighters at the highest level are not doing anything insane or weird or confusing. If you break down the techniques and strategies most MMA fighters use, they're not significantly different than what might be taught at your gym or what you might use or what you might see amateurs use. They can just do it under those lights in front of those crowds at that level against other practitioners of that level. That's the main difference. That's not the case with Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy is moving at a, a superhuman level of speed and agility. Uh, it, and how I know this is not because we sparred and I wasn't able to touch him. In fact, he let me touch him many, he, he let me, he let me work on my stuff many times. Let me make it absolutely clear so when you watch the sparring footage, you understand that anything you saw me do at all was because the man allowed me to do it. He permitted me to do it. He suffered me to exist. And even though I said he's not the nice guy that you think he is, the dude is actually nicer than you think he is, if that's possible. I've met lots of dudes. I know fakers and I know bullshitters when I see them. I, I wanted to be skeptical. I was like, there's no way anyone's that nice because, you know, sometimes I'm a piece of shit. So I figured everyone's a piece of shit sometimes. As humble as he is, he has to know as a martial artist that it's a, a huge privilege and honor to be able to train with him. And he has to know as a YouTuber that, like, this is gold content. Like, he knows that because he's both a martial artist and a YouTuber. I'll link his channel down below. I suggest you go check it out. It's a really great YouTube channel. It's not one of these, like, Oh, by the way, did you know that I'm a UFC fighter and that's why you should subscribe? It's an actual real YouTube channel. So he'll, he let me come train with him. We filmed, we had a great time. There's a bunch of videos out on my channel, Sensei Seth's channel and Wonder Boy's channel. But this is, this is the sparring. Now we join this round already in progress. Wonder Boy tries a couple sidekicks. Obviously those don't work. This is just our first exchange. This is us just sort of getting to know each other. Yoho's probably come in and try to test him occasionally. That I know that because that happens to me and I'm a nobody. So I'm just sort of showing him that I, I know how to spar like how he wants to spar. All right, so it might look like I did something there but he stood still and allowed me to show him what I had. Don't get excited. That, that trick will work in your gym, it, it, but it won't work on him in real life. Now he walked forward, stood still, and allowed me to do that because what these guys wanna do is not make me waste an entire round. Like we're both gonna get you know, something out of this round. Uh, he blocked my kick with his elbow, kinda hard and I was asking him if his elbow was okay. Now any of this stuff that he's pulling in front of my face could land if he chose to land it. That kick would have cut me in half if he chose to. That kick would have folded me up if he chose to. He can tap me and touch me anytime he wants. Look at me standing in front of me allowing me to hit him. Just because he's that nice, he's kicking slow enough for me to catch. Uh, and now, obviously, his punching range is my kicking range, so.
<laughs> Obviously, it was really cool to train with a person like that. It was amazing, but it was very affirming to see how he runs a practice. They run their practice the same way we run ours, and it was, it was really nice to see that. But let's go to round two. Here's Sensei Seth coming over and trying to get me to do a round with him so we can essentially take a round off because we're both out of shape. But the man himself found me and asked me to do another round. And what am I gonna say, no? All right, so this should go, this should go much better. I have his timing down now. What's your head to line with hands? <laughs> no, no, not you. <laughs> Oh boy, I wish I had somebody with hands. <laughs> Don't let him say that. I, he's got some hands, okay? <laughs> he wanted someone to work the remote for the timer. Now with this round, he, he gives me even more opportunities to like stand a little closer and he trades with me more because he's already realized that I, I know how to control my output. I'm not gonna try anything funny. And yeah, that, that <laughs> it might've worked. That one might have worked, but he's starting to move around a little bit more, and this round, I think, sort of more indicates what he's capable of, because, like, right there, right there, that, it looks, to you, it looks like he kicked me, and then he pulled it and stopped, and I just hit him like I'm a bad sport. I didn't realize that I was already dead. He moves so quickly and touches you so lightly when he chooses to, that I didn't, I didn't realize what had happened. And instinctively, you know, you see a guy doing like this and you hit him, what he was actually doing is he ended up in that posture because he chose not to decapitate me. Sorry, Steven, that, that was my bad. Now for better or worse, something about this environment, I find myself caught in trying to do things the way they do them, it doesn't always work out. Oh God, <laughs> that was there, bro. That was bad. <laughs> Typical wisdom that I would normally apply is if someone's hypermobile, I want to sit down and uh, slow it down. But something about this situation just made me think like I wanted to do karate. There's like zero chance that I land anything on him at any kind of normal exchange range. I have to resort to trickery and even there with the old GSP special, I'm still... <laughs> I'm still getting picked apart whenever he feels like it. Even in the middle of me doing something, he's still, and I'm starting to get tired. Obviously I'm out of shape. Look, look at him, he's so nice. He lets me throw a little combo to show that, I, that I'm not a total schlub. He doesn't want to clown me completely, but he's being very charitable. He could look like, what do you think this is my tremendous defense that's allowing me to survive this? No, he's just choosing not to kill me. And what's so cool about him is when you do something good, like he's so quick to acknowledge it. Like he's giving you props the whole time. And, and the teacher in him is doing things to kind of reinforce when you're having success. Like he's like giving you good oppor learning opportunities, which is the hallmark of a, you know, not only a good martial artist, but a good coach and a good person. Love it. Yeah. I think that went well. That can go. Fall like your karate guy. Fall like a Muay Thai guy. Right? Throwing kicks, throwing side kicks. No, I did not. Touch side kicks. I did not. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. I did not do that. I saw it. I saw it happen. Now, I was exhausted. Like, really exhausted. But we finished practice out with something I really enjoy, which is close range. Body shot boxing, the emphasis not being on volume necessarily, but on reacting and angling and picking your shots. And it makes you realize that just because you see one thing doesn't mean that these guys aren't training other things. But even long range strikers are doing some close range work and it was nice to see this done as a style of round, especially as the day has worn on and people are more tired and kind of crazy stuff is happening. Here we're just emphasizing getting head position, doing some little dirty stuff, playing with each other's elbows, uh, stepping on feet, close range reactions. You know, I like this kind of stuff and it was it's a good productive opportunity for us both to train and practice and exchange and both get work in that's valuable. Maybe, hopefully. Hopefully Wonder Boy you got something out of this. I did, uh, did some little dirty trickery, like yeah, little tricks like that. That's the only time I ever felt like I could do anything that would be of value. Uh, 
you know, in this environment. Like, as far as bouncing around and doing all that karate stuff. Now this style of practice you might think has like limited value, but if you watch fights, sometimes they end up like this. Like this happens. So it's worthwhile to occasionally practice this and and be at least passingly familiar with these positions. And now, again, I, I mean no disrespect, but I was just so done. Like I didn't even realize that Wonder Boy's going in for a hug and I'm like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, sure, okay. So that's what it looks like. Uh, Wonder Boy is very gracious by allowing me to even move it all during those rounds. I, I understand he doesn't want to make me like look bad on my channel, but it could have easily destroyed me and cut me in half within yeah, you know, one and a half seconds of the round starting anytime you wanted. We have another video coming where actually Maddox and Wonder Boy made a video together. And I'm going to put it up once I can bring myself to make it because it's deeply personal. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that. I'll put links down in the description below to Wonder Boy's channel. That's how I felt. I felt like how you feel when you fart me. Oh, yeah. <laughs>